हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नमस्कार माई सेल्फ मुकेश सीतपाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर आई टी यूनिवर्सिटी ग्वालियर सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस यू अबाउट द टॉपिक डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ इनवर्स ट्राइग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ इनवर्स ट्राइग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन The subject is elementary mathematics whose code is straight triple one, and this is BSc AG first semester 2020 batch, and this is the lecture number 14 of this subject. So differentiation of inverse trigonometric function. there are six basic trigonometric functions are used mainly so they have corresponding inverse functions when appropriate restrictions are placed on the domain of the original function all the trigonometric functions all the inverse trigonometric functions have derivatives which are summarized as fall so here are here we discuss the six formulas of differentiation of trigonometric functions so so first formula is when fx is equal to sin inverse x or sin inverse x is also written as arc sin x so when you see arc sin x that means it is sin inverse x and when the value of the x in this sin inverse x it varies from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 then the differentiation of fx is f dash x and the differentiation of sin inverse x becomes 1 upon under root 1 minus x square so this is the differentiation of sin inverse x formula number second if you have given fx is equal to cos inverse x and cos inverse x is also written as arc cos x where in this function the value of x varies from 0 to pi then the differentiation of fx is f dash x and cos inverse x is minus 1 upon under root 1 minus x square so the formula of sin inverse x and cos inverse x is similar but only the difference is in cos inverse x minus sign is placed on the numerator the third formula is when fx is given to you that is equal to tan inverse x so tan inverse x is also written as arc tan x and the value of x in this function is varies from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 then the differentiation of fx is f dash x and the differentiation of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square next if you have given fx is equal to cot inverse x and cot inverse x is also written as arc cot x in this function the value of x is varies from 0 to pi then the differentiation of fx is f dash x and differentiation of cot inverse x is minus 1 upon 1 plus x square this is also similar to the tan inverse x only in the numerator minus sign is placed next we discuss if the function fx is equal to sec inverse x and sec inverse x is also written as arc sec x 
and the value of x in this function is varies from 0 to pi okay but the value of x is not equal to pi by 2 pi by 2 means 90 degree and sec 90 is infinite so due to that the value of x is neither equal to pi by 2 or 90 degree then the differentiation of fx is f dash x and sec inverse x is 1 upon x under root x square minus 1 similarly if you have given a function fx is equal to cos x square x cos x inverse x and cos x inverse x is also written as arc cos x x here the value of x in this function is varies from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 but its value is not equal to 0 why because cos x 0 is 0 ok so due to that its value is neither equal to never equal to 0 and the differentiation of cos x inverse f dash x um, the differentiation of fx is f dash x and the differentiation of cos x inverse x is minus 1 upon x under root x square minus 1 so this is also similar to this one but the only difference is minus 1 is multiplied to the numerator so i think all the formulas of trigonometric differentiations are clear to you to attempt the numerical problems on of the subject of this sections you have to remember all these six formulas so now we will move to the numerical exercise of this topic so suppose if you have given fx is equal to cos inverse 5x then to find f dash x to differentiate this fun function fx is equal to f dash x and we know the cos inverse x is equal to the differentiation of cos inverse x is equal to minus 1 upon under root 1 minus x square ok so minus 1 upon under root 1 minus x square but here your x is 5x so we place here 5x square and again 5x is differentiated so 5 comes to the front side and the differentiation of x with respect to x is 1 so 5 into 1 that is 5 so this 5 multiplied with this minus so this become minus 5 and in the denominator 1 upon and the denominator 1 minus square of 5 is 25 and square of x is x square so this is the final answer of this question now again you have given a new question that find y dash if y is equal to arc 10 x to the power 3 in square root so firstly we know arc means 10 inverse 10 inverse ok so under root means its power is 1 by 2 ok under root means its power is 1 by 2 So x to the power 3 into 1 by 2 so 3 is multiplied to the 1 so 3 1 ja 1 divided by 2 so it becomes x to the power 3 by 2 so in this way we simplify this question and after that we differentiate this so differentiation of 10 inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square so this y becomes y dash so 1 upon 1 plus x square 
so here your x is x to the power 3 by 2 so we write here x to the power 3 by 2 and it's a square then again x to the power 3 by 2 is again differentiated so x to the power n differentiation of x to the power n is nx to the power n minus 1 so here your n is 3 by 2 so this 3 by 2 comes to the top front side into x 3 by 2 minus 1 3 by 2 means 1.5 1.5 minus 1 1.5 minus 1 that is 0 0.5 0 0.5 means half so its power comes 1 by 2 now so from this 2 this 2 is cancelled and here only x to the power 3 will be remain ok so this x to the power 1 by 2 becomes under root x because power 1 by 2 of any function is under root so this 3 is multiplied with 1 so 3 1 the 3 and this x to the power 1 by 2 becomes root x and this 2 here and in bracket this whole term will be written so this is the final answer of this question so i think you will do these types of question when asked in the examinations next question you have given pi is equal to x square arc sin x okay so y is equal to x square arc means sin inverse x so here in this question two functions are given to you first function is x square and second function is sin inverse x okay so we use the formula of product of two functions and differentiation so y becomes y dash formula is first function so first function is your x square into differentiation d means differentiation of second function second function is your sine inverse x so we write that then plus second function that is sine inverse x into differentiation of first function first function is your x square so this x square we write here and differentiation of sine in inverse x is 1 upon under root 1 minus x square so this formula I have discussed with you plus differentiation of x square is 2x and this arc sin x we write here now we take x as common here and only x is remain from here and x is multiplied to the 1 that is x and in the denominator we write under root 1 minus x square then plus 2x so 2x is taken at the outside only 2 is remaining 2 into arc sin x this one so this is the final answer of this question now you have given that uh, find the derivative of the function derivative means actually differentiation so sin inverse 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square so this is a very big question so because we know this whole term is assumed as x so the function becomes sin inverse x ok so differentiation of so this y becomes dy by dx or y dash you can write anything equal to sin inverse x so differentiation of sin inverse x is 1 upon under root 1 minus x square so we write 1 upon under root 1 minus x square but here your x is this whole term so we write this whole term here and it's 
and then let root multiplied. So because this is not x, we have assumed it. So again we have to differentiate this term. So we write d by dx of this. Okay. So now we square the numerator and then denominator. So in denominator 1 plus x square whole square will be will come. So this will be taken as LCM. Then we have to solve it. And after solving this, we get 1 plus x square upon 2x. Then this term. So these are in the form of numerator and denominator. So the differentiation formula for this is denominator into differentiation of numerator minus numerator into differentiation of denominator divided by denominator square. So denominator here is your 1 plus x square. It's a square. So what we say? Denominator. Denominator is 1 plus x square. So we write here into differentiation of numerator. Numerator is 1 minus x square. Differentiation of 1 is 0, then minus, so we write this minus, and differentiation of x square is 2x. Then minus numerator, so we write this numerator 1 minus x square into differentiation of denominator. So differentiation of 1 is 0, and x square is 2x. So we write and simplify it. To the last and after simplifying you will get minus 4x upon 1 plus x square to the power 2. So this x and this x is cancelled 2 1 ja 2 and 2 2 ja 4. This is 1 plus x square and this is 1 plus x square to the whole square. So 1 power is cancelled. So this 2 multiplied to this minus minus 2 upon 1 plus x square. This is the final answer of this question. So these are the some assignment that you have to do for in your class or in your home for the practice. Your first function is fx is equal to sin x plus 9 sin inverse x. Second function given as ct is equal to 5 sin square t minus cos inverse t. Third question is gz is equal to 10 inverse z plus 4 cos inverse z. Next question is ht is equal to sec inverse t minus t to the power 3 cos inverse so these are the some numerical exercise for our home. So the learning outcome of this today's topic is you are aware about the differentiation of inverse stoichiometric functions that will be helpful in solving the complex problem of the differentiation. So these are the some reference books from where you can study and after that you will attempt the question that is given to you in the assignment. So thank you. Thank you so much.